I have watched a few episodes of DIY Network's new show, First Time Flippers. It's a show about ordinary people who decide to try flipping houses for the first time. One recent episode showed two buddies with very little experience who are laid off at work and decide to flip a house. Another showed a mother and son who decide to flip. I was shocked to see some of the programming, which in my opinion is pretty unreal for a reality show, and also shows some of the dangers in buying a flipped home. Closing costs to buy. Now the shows say what the team paid for a home, but they don't reveal if this price includes closing costs or borrowing costs. I haven't seen it explain what funds were used to pay for the home and the renovations. Insurance. The home gives a timeline like three months or six months to do all the work when flipping houses, but they never discuss insurance. My experience tells me it would be very difficult to get insurance on a vacant home that is experiencing renovation. It would definitely be more expensive than regular homeowners insurance if it was available at all. I would advise those considering flipping houses to be sure to protect themselves with proper insurance. Permits and inspection when flipping houses. Most incorporated areas require permits to do renovations, including things you might not consider like replacing a water heater or patio. Many villages and cities require all contractors to be registered with them and a notarized letter of intent when a homeowner is doing their own work. Obtaining permits can mean inspections and requiring work to be brought up to code. This can be extremely expensive in some cases. I have not seen an episode of the show that discusses permits, inspections, or codes in any of the homes they were flipping. Dangers for buyers. The show alerted me to a danger for buyers of homes that were flipped by amateurs that I had not considered. In both episodes I watched, the inexperienced flippers took out a load-bearing wall and shored up the space with a beam they considered adequate. But they were just guessing it was adequate. This could result in sagging and serious structural problems in the future for the buyer. Flipping houses with work on load-bearing walls, foundations, drainage, and other situations may require engineers, architects, and other professionals with specialized knowledge. Buyers of homes that have recently been flipped may be in danger of serious costs caused by people flipping houses without the proper knowledge. Unrealistic open house. In both episodes I watched, the house flippers worked towards an open house they hoped would sell their home. This was, in my opinion, very unrealistically shown. As a realtor who does a lot of open houses, I can tell you that open houses are a great way to attract buyers, but most end up buying homes other than the one that is open. It takes a lot of contacts, letters, lots of social media marketing and more to have a successful open house. I don't believe that people flipping houses for the first time would be able to have successful open houses. Cost to sell. When one of the homes is sold, the show tells viewers how much the home was sold for. However, it doesn't disclose any closing costs and these can be substantial when flipping houses. The show concludes showing that the first time flippers made a very large profit on a few months work and makes flipping houses look like a great way to make a living for anyone. My experience is that flipping houses can be a good way to make money if you have the money to buy, hold and renovate, and or you're a realtor, and or you're a contractor. Don't bet a huge investment on what you learned from a TV show. If you would like to discuss flipping houses with an experienced realtor, call Tony DeLisi at Remax Unlimited Northwest, 847-471-7177.